Hello everybody! So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I was at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota for a week. This was a little while ago, but I just wanted to intro it now. Um, so I vlogged a lot of my experience there when I could. I had a lot of tests and stuff going on. It was a crazy week, so I didn't vlog like an insane amount, but what I did put, I'm going to put in after this clip, and then at the end of this video, I just sat and recapped pretty much my entire week, everything that happened, everything that was found. So, I'm just not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. medical supplies to travel, it just makes it so much more of a pain. Alright, so we're about aboard. Um... Sorry, I haven't been talking much, but we just landed in Minnesota, and I'll do a bigger update later. I don't know, they're like little blimps. Oh, they're cool. This is a fancy airport. Don't stop. Sorry, I haven't updated at all and I look like absolute death right now. I'm so tired. I got like three hours of sleep last night. I got up at three in the morning. It's like 10 now. Haven't slept at all, but um, going to the bed and my first appointment is tomorrow. So, good morning. <clears throat> wow, my voice is just non-existent this morning. Um, good morning, everybody. So, today is Monday and i have my first appointment like my general consult with motility at the mayo clinic today um around noon so that's a little ways away but i just wanted to say good morning and um now i'm gonna go get ready and then i'll probably talk a little bit more about my week and what's going on what happened yesterday because i didn't really vlog at all um and maybe i'll give you a little tour of my airbnb so yeah my appointment is in about an hour for my initial visit so we're gonna get ready to leave here soon we're staying in a little airbnb about five minutes away but um this is the only appointment i have scheduled for today i'm not sure if after i talk to this guy he's gonna want to schedule more things i'm not really sure how that works but yeah so hello vaccines. These vaccines are recommended for adults 18 years and older. Okay, I'm going to talk fast because I'm just in the bathroom in between things. But my first appointment was absolutely amazing. I'll tell you more about it when I get there, but now I'm going down for labs. So it is the next day. I didn't really do an update at all yesterday because it was honestly a really long, overwhelming day. But my initial appointment with GI and motility went really well. The doctor was really nice and he actually listened and knew all about like EDS and POTS and how that would play into my GI issues. And so that was really cool. Um, then I just got blood taken and then we just hung out. Um, today it's like, it's probably like seven now, but or we had to get up really early because I have 
this like whole GI transit scan, which is like a gastric emptying study completely going for it. Like it's over 48 hours and I've spent six hours there today um, and come back tomorrow morning at six and the next morning at six. And so that's where we're at now and that's what we're doing. We do have to stay an extra day, which I'm not the most thrilled about, but it's okay. Um, and yeah, morning. Okay, I'm kind of in a crowded place, but I wanted to update real quick. So, um, I got here and I had to take this massive blue pill that is radioactive. Um, it was in like a whole metal canister that had all these warnings on the side of it and then a plastic bottle in that. And then the nurse handed me the plastic bottle and was like, dump this in your mouth. And I was like, all right. And I have to wait an hour and then I have to go eat breakfast. And then I'm here for six hours after that. From the tic day three and sorry again for literally stopping vlogging in the middle of the day yesterday um about so during my test today yesterday i had to eat breakfast and go get some pictures taken of my stomach and then come back every hour or so and get pictures taken of my stomach then i had to eat lunch and after lunch i was very very sick so i did not want to vlog anymore um yeah it was really disgusting lunch and it was a lot of food and I went back for the picture right after lunch and got upstairs through it everywhere. It was really gross. Um, and I passed out and it was just not fun. So I didn't feel like vlogging yesterday. Um, it's like 6.30 and I'm going back up to get another picture taken of my stomach. And then I have some like injection procedure. So yeah, happy Wednesday. all right so i'm back at the house um my things went well today i had the first appointment at 6 45 to take another picture for that gastric emptying study or whole gi system motility study and i guess things aren't moving where they need to so i need to come back tomorrow at 6 45 for another one then i had an injection in my stomach for muscle something and that was not bad not the most comfortable experience but not terrible and i'm done for the day so it's only like 11 30 so we're gonna go for a walk and kind of explore downtown rochester because we've been at the hospital constantly and haven't really had a chance to do that and then i think i'm gonna finish editing and upload a video that was supposed to go up like four days ago so we'll do that hey guys sorry i'm whispering my parents are right next door on the wall they're really thin and they're asleep but I just wanted to come on and give like a little like close out of the day. So I think the last thing you saw was we were about to go get lunch or go for a walk or something. And honestly, after that, we didn't really do anything. Um, I FaceTimed with my boyfriend for a little while. And that was really exciting. I miss him. Um, and that day we've just kind of been hanging out. We went and got dinner. And I just took my nighttime meds. So I'm going to go to sleep. And I will see you all in the morning. Good morning. 
Mr. Horn. I'm going back for my last picture. So I had to be here really early this morning and then I left and had to come back for another procedure. It's about 9.45 and the elevators are really, really crowded so my parents didn't get to get on the elevator with me so I'm just kind of chilling up here and I think I might have to check in for my appointment and just go back because there's someone here that's been like five minutes. We just got here for the last day of appointments. Last time walking in. Yeah, So we are at our hotel by the airport. We are leaving the Mayo Clinic and I'm gonna give a whole spiel about my week and what happened and everything that, just everything we did and everything we found out and our plan moving forward. I'm just so exhausted. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow night, which will be like two seconds in this video, but just wanted to come on here and say that it was a good week and here are my final thoughts, I guess. All right, so I guess you just saw my whole entire week at the Mayo. So this, I'm filming this a solid week and a half later because since being home, it's just been so crazy and a lot to process and I just haven't gotten around to filming this. So hopefully I can get this done today, edited tomorrow and uploaded this weekend, but I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my experience. So the first day was very, very nerve wracking. Walking into that doctor's appointment, knowing that if anyone was going to be able to help me, it was going to be the man I was about to talk to, was terrifying because I've had so many doctors tell me that they don't know what's wrong and there's nothing that they can do and they've sent me somewhere else. So when I got there, I was like, if this man says that, then I don't even know what I'm going to do. Thankfully, he didn't say that. Um, he was so nice and would listen and was respectful and took everything I said seriously which may sound silly, but if you've been in the situation where like you have an illness that's not that common, a lot of doctors will not take you seriously and they'll think that you're, they'll just call it anxiety or they say it's all in your head. Um, but he listened, he talked to me, not my parents, which was interesting transitioning from pediatric care to adult care. He would talk to me, all of his questions were directed at me, even though my parents were sitting with me and just the way he talked he was so smart so knowledgeable and he was like here's what i think here's what we're gonna do and here's what your week is gonna look like so that was all i had on monday was my appointment with him and then i had to go down and get labs um those came back somewhat decent my red blood cells were low and my iron and ferritin levels were very very low um so that didn't really get taken care of there because i was just there for gi that's something I'm working with my primary care doctor here to decide if I need like infusions or something but that's not important not relevant to this week um so then on Tuesday I went in and I had a full GI transit study which is like a gastric emptying study except for it measures everything from like the second you eat the food until 24 to 48 hours later so it watches it go through your intestines as well um I had to eat breakfast which was like eggs and toast and milk and I hate eggs and milk so that was really fun um then i got a picture taken immediately after i was done an hour later another hour later then an hour after that third picture was taken i had to eat lunch which was the biggest turkey sandwich i've ever seen in my life don't like turkey either we'll never be eating turkey again 
Um, after that lunch, I had to get another picture taken. Then I threw up all of the turkey and that was really fun. Um, then I had to get another picture taken like an hour later. So like pictures at one hour. So immediately one hour, two hour, four, four hour and six hour is when I had to get the pictures taken. And then I had to come back the next morning at 6 a.m to get a picture to see if it had passed through my intestines. It hadn't, so I had to come back the next morning again um, to get a picture to see where I was. Um, along with that, hold on one sec. Okay, sorry, I had to look at my, I had to get my notebook and look at my schedule because it was a lot that was happening. So Wednesday, I went back Wednesday morning to get like my final picture for my um, GI transit study. Um, and then on Wednesday, I also went to physical medicine and got a trigger point injection to see if that would help with any of my abdominal wall pain. So basically it was a big needle that they did like an ultrasound and found the muscles that they were targeting and injected lidocaine and a steroid into my abdominal wall muscles to see if that would help the pain. Unfortunately it did not, but you know, it was worth a shot. Sorry, I'm just gonna change the angle there. Um, and that was Wednesday. It sounds like I haven't really done all that much this week, but like when you're there, these things take like hours and hours and hours. Like Tuesday, I was there from like 6 a.m. to like 3 p.m. nonstop at things. So it's just like, it seems like not a lot, but it really was, I promise. Um, but then that's all I had on Wednesday. Thursday morning, I had to come back and get another picture for my GI transit study because Wednesday was supposed to be the last one, potentially, but things had not moved through my system the way that they were supposed to. That like radioactive contrast thing was still in there and they wanted to see what that was all about. So I had to get that done, and then I had to go back to the Airbnb we were staying at and get prepped for a procedure that I was having. Um, not really gonna talk about that one because it's kind of personal, but it was not fun. Um, and then after that procedure, I had a stomach and kidney and bladder scan that afternoon. So then after that, I got to go home. That was nice. It was like. Well, we're not home back to the airbnb so we just kind of hung out we went for a walk that afternoon and that was pretty nice um and then on friday which is my last day they wanted me to do a tilt table test again or they wanted me to do a tilt table test and then i had my final appointment with my gi doctor to kind of like wrap up the week so the tilt table test was not great i felt really crappy after that but then we had my final appointment with my doctor and he had basically went over everything for the week my results for all the tests and i'll share those in a sec um and then he was talking to me and he wants me to come back to see like genetics for EDS at some point in time to rule out like classical or vascular or something like a different type because I've been diagnosed with hypermobile but have been unable to get the genetic testing to rule out the other types. So he wants me to come back potentially over the summer to get that and then whatever else they want to order because um, that's not his area of expertise. But then what had been found while I was there was I was diagnosed with gastroparesis officially um intestinal dysmotility pelvic floor dysfunction and then like my pots was like confirmed again i guess i don't know but yeah so that's what came out of that we have i started on a new medication for my stomach to see if that'll help um and then i am getting referred to i don't know if it's inpatient or outpatient but some kind of treatment program at unc hospital which is near where i am and then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna be back up at Mayo, I think at this summer at some point in time, or maybe in the fall to see genetics and I'll probably see GI while I'm there again. But yeah, that was my week. Overall, it was a really great experience. I had heard some people had really bad experiences there, which made me really nervous, but everyone there was so nice and so kind and so respectful and they listened really well and the facility was beautiful and amazing and I never felt like disregarded or like they weren't taking me seriously and I felt like everyone there actually wanted to help and it was amazing to actually be at a place where I felt that. So Mayo was amazing, 10 out of 10 would recommend if you have the opportunity to go there. Um, hopefully you don't ever need to go there but it was great. So that was my week, thank you for watching this video and I will see you all soon, bye!